brand new Commodore 64 motherboard? Yeah, we gotta do this. Coming up. So you guys may remember this one. This is machine number six. If not, there's a link to a video uh, going over what happened with number six down in the description below and also up in one of the cards, wherever that happens to pop up. So, quick overview. This machine was a total basket case and really going to get to the point where it cost more money than uh, you'd ever get back out of it to fix it. Um, until now. So, need some new keycaps, need some case work still. Pull that off. We've got this old motherboard. If you remember from the video, I went through and replaced quite a lot of stuff. You can see all the RAM is socketed, all the chips are socketed except for the PLA. Um, I replaced just about everything I could think of on this machine and still had some problems. And I think a lot of it really just comes down to the board itself. There's some lifted traces, there's some missing mask, and if you flex the board, the video on the screen goes a little wonky. So what I'm going to do is salvage as much from this as I possibly can. Maybe grab some fancy new modern uh, replacements for the RF encoder. And going to probably need a SwinSID. And maybe even some DC to DC converters. I don't know. I got to review Jan Bita's video on this because he did some DC to DC converter work and I think there was a problem with the SID chip. So I'll link that video down below also if I can find it. But the goal is to take everything off of here that works and put it on this guy. This is pretty slick. Uh, brand new motherboard reversed by Rob Taylor in January of this year and I got my hands on one of these things. This is pretty slick. Um, Rob did a fantastic job on this and if you take a real close look at the board, I don't even know if it'll show up on camera, but all of the silkscreen labels, oh yeah you can see that, all of the silkscreen labels actually tell you what chips go where. And one of the things I've always had a problem with myself is the ROM chips, trying to remember which ROM chip goes into which socket, because the chips are all the same size and they all fit in the same sockets and they all go in the same area, but they're all just a little bit different based on their part numbers. So everything on here is labeled in terms of what resistors are, not what their values are, which would have been nice, but there's also not a lot of room. Um, the original machine had a donor power switch that went to another machine, so I've got one of those on order from Retroleum. Retroleum such a cool name. Um, so if you guys can think of anything else that can go onto this board that's a modern new replacement or a useful upgrade or just something neat to do, drop a comment down below, let me know, and uh, we will go from there. One of the other things that Rob has on his website when you get these is he's got these little packs of capacitors and resistors and resistor networks. So I went ahead and dropped those in the cart while I was checking out um, what needed to be checked out. And it has on here what the value of the capacitors are and where they go on the board. So like uh, there is one 100 microfarad 16 volt radial capacitor that goes in C91. So you find C91 and you put it in there. So we will handle recapping the board. We will get sockets um, and go from there. I wish, I haven't found it. So if, if somebody does make this, please let me know. But I wish that somebody had a socket set bag like there are these uh, capacitor and resistor kits because that would be pretty cool to buy a set of sockets in one go that would work with this. Um, instead of trying to sort out, oh, I need one of these, well, I need one, two, three of these, and maybe four, and then I need two of these, and then I need however many of those, and I need three of those, and then you wind up with like 40 extra sockets on hand. So that would be pretty neat to have that. Backside's pretty straightforward. He's got a couple of shout outs to some people that helped him with it. Um, he does have three different revisions, I think, and they come in a couple of different colors. And this is the version 1.1 board. So stick around for some future videos where we get to work on moving everything over and bringing number six back to life. Long live number six. Thanks for being awesome. <laughs>